Hey guys, this week I'm recreating the Stranger Things transition. Let's get started. Hey guys, my name's Om. I make videos every Monday at 12 p.m. I hope to, with these videos, give you enough creativity to inspire you to take your own journey. This week's video is on the Stranger Things transition. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a comp with the video you'd like to appear. So this is a good tutorial as I love Stranger Things. If you like it as well, hit the like button and let me know. Anyways, next thing we're going to do is right click and select a new solid here. Just make sure the color is black and hit OK. Now you can either insert an image of your text or your logo or type it in using the text tool. I'm going to type it in, but pro tip here, if you do use an image, make sure it's high res as we're going to zoom in a lot. Once you've typed in the text, you'll need to center it using the paragraph tab and in the effects and presets panel, type fill and drag and drop this onto the text layer. From here, change the color. I'm going to go as close to the original of Stranger Things logo as possible. Mm, okay, I've just realized I made a mistake. I typed it in lowercase. I typed the bottom line in lowercase. I'm going to change this to capital letters. Once I've done that, I'm going to change the font to... I'm not sure how you say this, but Ben Cute? Ben Cuta? Um, anyways, on the screen. This is the Stranger Things font, which I downloaded free from the internet. A link to this font is in the description below. Great, uh, now I'm going to center and align this. Once I'm happy with the position, on the top text layer, I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and turn on the stopwatch. Then I'm going to hit S for the scale and keyframe it as well. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the video here and hit pause. So I tried a variety of different ways to scale this up. From going to the N and scaling it up, which didn't work. Then using the curves tool in the graph panel, in the graph panel, and then I realized it was sending the text on a roller coaster ride. To then keyframing every couple of seconds, easy, 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 ease the keyframes, and then changing the keyframes in the graph, which kind of worked, but at each frame it would slow down and then speed up. Uh, so after an hour of work and frustration, I did the following. First, Duplicate the text layer and change the track mat on the black solid to Luma Invert Map. This will start to reveal the video underneath through the text. Note, before you do anything, we need to move the anchor point. Start by clicking here and selecting rulers. From here, drag and drop a line from the top and from the side to create an X marks a spot. This is where you'd like to zoom in to the text. Then click on this anchor point tool and move the anchor from both the text layers into this spot. Now, at three sec at three, five, seven, nine point five, eleven point five seconds, I keyframed zooming in slowly. So that's three, five, 7, 9.5 and 11.5 Then highlighted the keyframes right clicked and easy ease them all While still highlighted I clicked on the graph button Then from here then clicked on each key point and selected the convert selected keyframes to auto bezier this will now smooth out the zoom for you. When you go back to the comp, you'll notice the keyframe shapes will have changed to circles. But most importantly, it now flows nicer. Now, on the top layer of the text, hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity. Move along the timeline to the point where you'd like to start seeing the red color go and hit the stopwatch button. Then move to the part where you'd like the red to completely vanish and turn the opacity to zero. Now we just need to add some glow and noise to this layer. Drag and drop these both onto the text layer from the effects and presets panel. 
change the glow radius to 32 and the noise only to 3%. These are both very simple effects. No. And that's it. If you stop here, you're done. But to make it really pop, go to the effects panel and add curves and tint to this video. I'm just going to add a small S curve to make the scene brighter. With the tint, I looked at a few colors but I've chosen the aqua color and then keyframe the amount of the tint from 100% to 0% to reveal the full color of the video and now you're done I hope you enjoyed that if you make your own please tag me in it add me on Instagram at Om Cardiff should be here somewhere um, and as always guys, I'll see you. Oh, I forgot to mention, please hit the like and subscribe button. And this week, my shout out is to Sonic Cinema. Thanks for the support.